In this video, I'm going to tell you what seeds you need to grow a giant pumpkin, where you can get them from, and I'm going to explain what all the numbers mean. Hi there, Sam here from giantpumpkins.co.nz. The type of pumpkin seed you need to grow a giant pumpkin is called Atlantic Giant, and the botanical name is called Kirkabata Maxima. Now here in New Zealand, if you want to get some giant pumpkin seeds, your options are talking to giant pumpkin growers in your area, checking out Trade Me and seeing if any are listed on there, check out giantpumpkins.co.nz forward slash shop to see what I have, or maybe talk to giant pumpkin growers around the world at bigpumpkins.com. Now there is a process to get those pumpkin seeds into New Zealand and we do it once per year. So make sure to check out giantpumpkins.co.nz, the Facebook page, or sign up for the newsletter to make sure you know when all of that's happening. For overseas growers, pretty much the same. Check out ebay.com, check out other growers in your area, connect with them at bigpumpkins.com. A lot of them will send pumpkin seeds just for the cost of a small bubble envelope. So you're looking at giant pumpkin seeds and you're wondering what all the numbers mean, especially on packets if you've seen them before. So let's talk about that. In this example, the first number is the weight of the pumpkin. This is usually in pounds, but sometimes when dealing with New Zealand growers, they might be writing kilos. So just keep that in mind. The second piece is the last name of the grower. And after that is usually the year that they grew that pumpkin. So in this example, 2013. After that is the female plant that was grown. And that is where these seeds came from. So in this example, we're looking at a 1694 mayor. And then that was pollinated with a male plant from the 2009 Wallace. So there we go. With that information, it's really helpful to see the family tree of that pumpkin. So check out tools.pumpkinfanatic.com, punch in the number for either of those pumpkins, and you'll get a breakdown of how the growers got to that weight. The best way I describe this to other people when I'm explaining this, it's very similar to horse racing. So while there's lots of different horses out there, they do a lot of breeding to get the best possible racehorse that they can. And giant pumpkins are no different. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Please leave any comments below, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.